welcome and thank you for uh, tuning in and watching uh, this video. Uh, this is the second uh, episode basically for the uh, import and export using the REDCap API. Um, so again, what, what is an API in REDCap? Uh, the REDCap API allows developers to um, interact with REDCap programmatically. Uh, for example, if you need to export or import uh, data into REDCap on a certain project, um, you need to use the REDCap API. Um, I, I guess you could develop other uh, ways of interacting through the database, um, but today I'll be showing you, um, you know, it, I guess the, uh, the officially supported way of interacting with, with, uh, with REDCap. Uh, using the API. Um, data entry in, uh, into REDCap could be fairly uh, tedious uh, if you've already got thousands of records in uh, another EMR system or uh, some, some EMR system or somewhere else that you would like to import or save the data in REDCap and house it in REDCap. Um, it could be fairly tedious and takes a while to you know, enter that in manually. Obviously, if you're doing, you know, 10, 10 records, that's not an issue, but let's say you're carrying that out to a thousand or more, that could be uh, quite an issue. It takes quite a bit of time. So, uh, in this case, you know, if you were going to use the API to import data, uh, that, that could potentially save us um, a lot of time. Um, so, what we're going to do in this, uh, this episode is basically I'll show you how to use the uh, REDCap import uh, utilizing the uh, API. Um, this topic or this uh, episode requires that you know how to code in uh, either PHP, C Sharp, JavaScript on a basic level. Uh, again, I, I don't expect uh, everyone to kind of pick up on it right away, but uh, hopefully if you uh, do have any questions, um, just shoot us an email or um, uh, I guess respond to the video uh, on, the, on YouTube somehow. Um, so basically uh, what we're required today is that we're gonna, we are going to need uh, a couple things. Um, one important thing we're going to need is the REST call request file. Um, this PHP class is required at least for uh, for me when I, I I like to use the class to interact with the um, with Redcap API. Uh, underneath is actually just a wrapper for um, uh, curl in order to interact with Redcap and sending data um, or getting data, etc. Just making a HTTP uh, request. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick of our um, requirements here. So I'm using uh, VS Code to just show you some some snippets of uh, information here, but uh, just bear with me here. So uh, once you open this class, this file here it contains the um, the class, all the properties, and whatnot. But again, it's just a wrapper for curl to send the information or data to Redcap, and you can use get or post, as you can see. All right, so um, that's now let's just assume that you have that, you can obtain that. If you need it, uh, let me know, and we can email it to you. Or, um, you know, every, every installation of uh, RedCap has this file, so you should already have it. Um, again, if you don't, you can email me, and I'll provide it to you. All right, so previously, uh, last episode, we had, uh, um, I think we went over exporting of rec uh, records. Um, this this uh, video we're going to be importing some records, um, and again I guess uh, you know to have a whole circle you're gonna have to be able to import and export records. So, anyways, um, let's just go and go through the file. First, this is uh, I'm writing this um, this import uh, job in PHP. So um, just FYI, you know, obviously you can see the uh, declarations, etc. But uh, again, I think it's going to be fairly uh, similar as far as the other uh, languages as well. So um, 
All right, so in order for us to import records, what we're going to do is we need to have this class um, included. So this is what I'm doing here, including the class and um, creating a new API, I mean a new variable called the API error, which is, uh, you know, our uh, location for our API to be able to uh, send to it. That's our endpoint. Um, so I'm just, it's a placeholder data. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to that later. So um, as far as inputting data into RedCap, you have to comply by the API's um, rules and standards, obviously. So uh, this is what was required of uh, importing data, a record into RedCap. So let's just um, go again over to the RedCap's API documentation. All right, so uh, import records. Redcap states that uh, the URL is required, and we just we just um, declared that as a in a variable called API URL, um, and we have to know we have to let it know we have to let the request I guess the um, request um, class that we're going to be posting some data, so this method can be post. Um, and then uh, some of these things, some of these uh, parameters are required, obviously, like the token, the content. And you can just, uh, I guess, have, obviously, you're going to keep whatever format you have. But these are required, right? So uh, make sure you have that, those information. And optionally, you can have uh, return content, return format, and some sort of date format, whatever format you want. So if we flip back to uh, code here. Um, you can see that I've set my parameter. I've already added my token. Again, previously in our other uh, video, um, I showed you how to get your own token, your RedCap um, project token. So if not, uh, let's go ahead and just go into the project real quick. And we'll create that token real quickly. Bunch projects. All right, so um, if you scroll down to the left-hand hand side a little bit, you'll see API, and that's where you can generate uh, a token for yourself. So I've already cop, already, already have a token. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that into um, the code here, the source. All right, so we got the token. Uh, the contents of the record format is in JSON. My data, I prefer JSON. Um, so that, you know, it really depends on your um, preference. Uh, type is flat. Again, preference. Um, you know, whatever it is that re you require for your um, saving of your project. So, but I, I would just leave it at normal. You could have overwrite behavior. Let's say you have, um, you know, if you importing the same record over and over again, um, you could have it just overwrite to the to the new data, which is the same or um, you don't overwrite because it is the same. So this is what it is right here. Data, that's our data up here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in some data real quick. Um, All right, so I copied some data over the other side, and here it is. Um, that's my, my, my data there. All right. Um, so then what it is is uh, I'm building the request, and um, I'm instantiating a new REST call request object, passing in the required parameters to it, um, posting. I mean, I want the post method, obviously, because we're uh, uh, sending data onto RedCap. So um, once that's well, once we have that object, um, we can just you know dump it out just to see what it looks like. And then what we want to do is go ahead and call the execute um, method here, and it should send data on there. 
and also uh, our response will be coming back and we want to see where it is um, you know in this in this um, on all these options here we wanted to return uh, JSON and we want to give a count so let's say we update upload or import uh, one record it should give us one so let's see how many records were pushing onto this project here um, I think I'm importing just about two records here um, and I'm setting all of them to complete so um, I don't have overwrite behavior so that, that means that uh, if the data is already there, if the record is there, it'll just go ahead and do nothing. So go ahead and save this and I'll go to my web server. import this real quick. If I run it, it should save the data to the project. So you see that, you see the, the request payload that we had uh, dumped out and it shows us um, all the information that we um, have basically built. Um, verbs, post, the URL, the request body includes the token and all the data associated with it. It's quite long. And then um, the responses uh, two. So basically saying that uh, the success giving us a response back of two. So let's go ahead and go to the project itself and see what happened there. Um, all right. So I think I, let me go ahead and clear this just to show you that uh, it was good. All right. So we do the import again. All right. So two. I should have two records in here. There they are, two records completed. Look at record one. You can see some address here, etc., and some fictitious information. Um, but, anyways, uh, that's the data we had uh, appended to this um, to this uh, project head. To the payload, we had um, added record one and two, and the data is within there. So let's say we have um, a record three and uh, a record five. Um, so basically we're entering two more records, but the record number might be different. Obviously it's three and five. So let's go and just try that real quick. Let's import more data. Oops, uh, let's go back here. All right, so we ran our script. Go back to RedCap. And just check the number of records we have. Okay, we got four records now. So we got, you know, records one, two, three, and five. We got four records. Let's check. Check. All right. So again, we can, you know, just pretending. But basically, let's pretend that the, the data in there is the one, is what you want. So uh, that's pretty much it uh, for importing um, data into RedCap via the API. Um, let me see here. I've, I've um, actually drew up a little graph for you guys here. So basically, RedCap API uh, API allows you to um, you know import and export data, but uh, some other stuff as well. But since um, I guess uh, it's not outside of RedCap, since it's within RedCap, but this is the drawing. You know, your application, you can interact with API to save data in RedCap. And obviously, your application can be an internet application or internet, but um, it sits right around here somewhere. So, um, and you act, interact with API that way. All right. And that is it. So, if you have any questions, please um, email us at redcap at vc.edu. Or you can just um, leave a comment on the, the videos, and we uh, once we see the message, we'll answer your uh, question. Um, again, this is uh, the second topic, but we basically have a training um, episodes every week. So uh, a different topic is available every week, and we will, uh, you know, go as long as needed. So. Uh, for more information, uh, go on up to our research portal 
and um, the address is big that we see it's I mean uh, BIC that CCTR that we see the EDU. Once you get there, just click on this link here, and you will get to the information about this training session. Again, uh, we have a lot so far, so check it out. If you don't see anything that you that interests you, then um, let us know as well. We can definitely have some uh, video for you for that topic if you request it. And that's it. Thanks, and uh, have a good day.